the latest odds at bookmakers.com maiden is next in and this is a one mile maiden for four year olds and upwards and the top one is Crescent Revenge for Mike Westwood Dun Kelly Alex Cherry 18 Ryan Costello Night Watchman Satyam Royal Forest Jim Murray Spectate Dick for Derek Hinton Watermelon Sugar for Darren Thompson Weathervane Adam Old Alignment Tapestry Leon Van Rensburg Ben of the Ball Joshua Sutherland Bieber Raw Martin Leedham Blooming Chaser Thomas Rogers Elvira Vanek for James Shea Lincoln Lebron for Danny Melodies of Life Jay Gray Opera Hairst, Graham Clutterbuck, Shaw to Dream, David Hooley, and Two Doors Dan, Ryan Tamar Sobe. So 18 of them then, and away they go. We're see them from the other side of the track this time, and it's going to be the first to show. It looks like Watermelon Sugar was keen to get out, but right over on that far side, it's 18 pulling for its head that's going to try and lead, although nearest to us, Bell of the Ball. But Joshua Sutherland is also right up there in the leading group. Night Watchman and Rainforest and Melodies of Life are also close up as well. They've sorted themselves out through the first couple of furlongs and an 18 right over on the far side is in front from Ben of the Ball. Closest to us in second. Then comes Night Watchman in the yellow jacket. And behind that one is Alignment Tapestry. Dun Kelly on this near side group is after that one. Also on that near side group, Beaver Roar is quite close up as well. And so too is um, Linker Lebron. But it's 18 on the far side is just about in front then from Ben on the ball in second Night Watchman is next then Spectate Dick in the pink jacket has moved through into fourth Crescent Revenge is also now coming through with a run and so too is Watermelon Sugar but it's 18 who's still in the lead look at this Crescent Revenge has burst through then with three furlongs to go and it's Crescent Revenge who's come through to challenge for the lead but 18's got the run and it's kicking on again 18's back in the lead Crescent Revenge is second Watermelon Sugar is third then Night Watchman Spectate Dick and Ben on the ball Royal Forest Bieber Roar after that one trying to get into it but it's 18 in the lead still. Crescent Revenge up the centre of the track. The Joshua Sutherland horse has dropped tamely away, but it's Crescent Revenge in the lead from 18 in second. It's Crescent Revenge nearest to us. 18 still got the way on the far side. Beaver Roar's trying to get into it as well, but it's right over on that far side. 18 now being pressed by Alignment Tapestry and Royal Forest, and Alignment Tapestry hits the front. Here comes two doors down, but it's going to be Alignment Tapestry as they race up towards the line. Jim Murray's horse is flying at the death, and it's really close. There was almost four of them in a line there as they flashed past the post. I have not got a clue what has won that. Jim Murray's horse was finishing well, but this one at the centre of the track was going well for Darren Thompson as well. But it might well be the man in the commentary booth next to me that's got up and won it two doors down has certainly got a share of it. It's mighty close, and it's a short head win for two doors down. And Ryan Tamasebi, he's not two doors down, he's two seats down commentated on the next race and takes that on alignment tapestry for Leon Van Rensburg is second Royal Forest for Jim Murray third Watermelon Sugar for Darren Thompson was fourth and Spectate Dick for Derek Hinton was fifth and one or two of those looked like they were going to win 18 and Crescent Revenge for Ryan Costello and Mike Westwood looked like they got that race between them and I don't know what happened to Joshua Sutherland's horse in that one they don't normally go out like that but that was a pretty exciting way to end my commentaries for day one and I'll leave you with a pair of Ryans to take you through the rest of the day